Hey guys, this is Danks87. I'm going to be showing you today an escalator and how it works. Okay, so the things you're going to need is two tag sensors, three followers, three tags, a selector, a physics tweaker, a gyroscope, and an emitter. So first up we're going to be making the shape of the escalator. I always use the small grid as it helps keep it even. Okay, so we want to make a big triangle. We want to extend it slightly with a square to make it look like an escalator. Now that that is done we would like to put some microchips on, one at the very bottom of the step with a tag sensor on it. And we're going to make this one orange and escalator tag name. And we need to copy this and put one at the top and one at the end of the top. And we're going to need to change the tag color to so the very one next one and one after that. These are what our followers will be following. Okay, now we need to make our steps. I generally go with a metal material, but you can go with whatever you want. We need to make that fairly small, and now we need a microchip on top of it. Okay, next what we need is the selector. We only need three ports on the selector. And then we need a tag sensor. We need to make the tag radius down to 0 0.1. And layer range infinite. Now choose the same tag as the first tag. And put that into the second port of the selector. Copy the tag sensor and change it to the next color and into the last port. Now we want the follower and this follower is going to follow it around 200% infinite range all the layers and I want it to follow the first orange escalator tag. And that's for the first point. Next one we want it to follow the next point and hook it up and the next one for the very last point and now we need the gyroscope this needs to be the strongest possible so put the number right the way to the top and the strength right to 100% and lastly we need the physics tweaker and we need to make the weight as high as possible this stops it from being able to be pushed by you standing on it. And that's our step done. We just need to copy that into our goodies bag so that we can emit it. Okay, now it's time to put down another microchip right at the start of the escalator. In here we're going to need our emitter. Now this part does take some fiddling with all the different tweak settings in here. We're going to go with this at the moment, but it will be changed as it will no doubt be wrong. And we need to emit our step. And make sure it's placed in the right part. Okay, first test. They're very spaced apart and they are not go not destroying at the time we want them to. So, let's reduce the lifetime and reduce the frequency. And now we have a much closer. It looks almost perfect. Oh, I've done it perfect the, f the second time. That's brilliant. But be careful when reducing the amount of frequency as it will cause major problems, as you can see. So you need the small little gap for it to work properly.
you will also need a platform above the emitter otherwise as soon as your player gets to that point he will stop the emitter from working and you will have no steps so I use the same block and just double it in size so we just stick these to the back of the escalator And lastly, it helps if you move the emitter one block down. Now you have yourself an escalator. Uh, it helps if you use the camera to um, put it to the side so you can actually see the escalator properly. Because once you have the front cover on, it, um, you can't overly see it. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks guys.